हे एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम अक्षय एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू सेट अप एस क्यू एल सर्वर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ऑन विंडोज सो गो इन यूर फेवरेट ब्राउजर एंड सर्च फॉर एस क्यू एल सर्वर एंड यू कैन सी एस क्यू एल सर्वर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन देयर सो क्लिक ऑन द लिंक विच इज़ फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट यू कैन सी देयर you will be redirected to the microsoft's product and services pages so click on the download here you can see there are five type of sql servers the first one is azure so it's a platform service provided by azure as well so you need not to install on your system so definitely it will cost you for the compute cost and two other services are also there and here we can download uh, the two types of edition one is developer and other one is express so just click on the developer edition download button and you can see this is the download manager sql server download manager is installed it's just of some 1 mb or something so it's just a insert installation tool so i am going to keep all the softwares in my operating system in my local drive d so i am just going to paste it there and okay i am going to click on the refresh so just double click on uh, this installation tool okay minimize with uh, windows m all other windows are getting minimized so now you can see sql server installation tool is there and you can see the developer edition there are three basic setups one is basic another one is custom and download media in basic you will get the basic tools like uh, sql engine and some other basic tools but we are going to install the custom edition so that we can use analytic services and other services in future you can see in c drive sql 2019 is the folder uh, where it stores all its uh, services okay then after click on the next and you can see the developer edition it's getting downloading all the tools that are required for microsoft sql server and that are necessary it's almost around of 1.4 gb so it depends on your internet speed how much it will takes now you can see all the packages are downloaded successfully and currently it's extracting those files okay developer edition downloaded successfully so let's wait it will pop up please wait while microsoft sql server 2019 setup processing the files okay now this wizard is open you can see this is sql server installation center it's a important tool for future as well and you can see here installation maintenance tool resources and other options are there that we can use in sql server you can see as well from here you can use hardware and other requirements you can download and install other setups necessary tools you can upgrade your uh, microsoft uh, sql server you can upgrade documentation and you can see how to apply sql server updates and so on right so for our need here we need uh, the simple thing that is microsoft sql server right so in the installation panel you can see how new sql server stand alone installation is here other tools are there such as sql server registry services sql server management tools integration services and other services are also listed here but what we need we need is we need to install new sql server so just click on new sql server stand alone so you can see please wait microsoft sql 2019 setup is being ready so this is the product key and setup wizard from here we need to go through all these steps you can see on the left hand panel of of this wizard okay so uh, right now i am you can choose the edition or you want to install so we are going to install the developer edition so just click on the next you can see this is the service agreement so you just need to accept and uh, if you want you can read it 
just click on the next so it's setting up the global rules for microsoft sql server you can read everything okay right now we are uh, in installation file you can see it scan and update the product download and extract it skipped because we have done already and you can see install setup file it shows in progress okay it's closed automatically let's wait a moment okay the new wizard installation wizard is open from here you can see the services are getting installed so uh, you can ignore the warning for the firewall and uh, in the feature and tool you can select whatever tool you need so i am going to select database engine services here you can see other tools as well such as sql server uh, edition and other machine learning tools for other languages like r python java and all i am going to use the second services analytic services so i am going to check it i am going to click drag it down and you can see here integration services are also there okay so these are three services i am going to install on my system you can choose whatever the services you need to install okay so if you want all the services you can select all and if you don't want you can unselect all apart from that here the sql servers root directory and other directories are listed here um you can change if you want but i don't think so i need to change it okay here now we are in instance configuration and you can see the instance name is here microsoft sql server ms sql server you if you want you can change it here you can see the sql server directory and analytic service directory is also shown here so i am going to click on the next so here uh, in server configuration all the things are listed here i will click on the next so in server configuration you can choose the two types first one is windows authentication and the second one is uh, the mix that is microsoft authentication uh, along with windows authentication right so uh, if you want to do this you need to enter the password here and confirm password here okay so we are going with windows only windows authentication only uh, i want to keep it simple so i am just going to add current user so it will add the current user of this machine or this laptop that is me here and it will uh, open the sql server for this user with the help of windows authentication okay so i am going to hit on the next now you can see analytic service configuration here also i am going to add the current user so click on add the current user button and click on the next so right now it's a summary of uh, the whatever settings we have done from installation rule and other configuration and services and all so it's just a a uh, detailed summary of all that so you can check it and uh, just hit on the next so now you can see installation is in progress so it will take a uh, few minutes depending on uh, the power of your uh, system for getting installed okay now you can see everything is installed successfully and the uh installation wizard here you can see all the tools that we have installed are checked successfully right so right now you can click on the close button at the bottom side of the wizard and as well you can cancel this uh, installation center uh, it needed in future for us we can upgrade from here as well okay so some services are still running in the background so you can see please wait until microsoft sql server processes the file okay so let's refresh it and in this way we have installed microsoft sql server uh, successfully okay so now search for ssms 
SSM is, uh, is simply for uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, so you will get a link of uh, docs.microsoft.com, uh, and here you can see download SQL Server Management Studio. So you need to just click on the link. So you can see this is the Microsoft documentation, and uh, here by scrolling little bit downwards, you can see. there is a download link for uh, ssms and here you can see it's the 18.12.1 version there are two links but uh, in the above link if you click it will redirect you on the same page almost so you need to click on this uh, link uh, which has the download side in front of it so you can see as i click on it uh, it will start downloading the exe file for ssms and uh, when i will go in the chrome's directory you can go it in chrome such as chrome colon slash slash download so you can see in your downloads folder it's downloading the ssms.exe file and uh, it's almost around uh, 650 mb so it will take some time to download depending on your internet connection okay so uh, ssms is downloaded and i am just going to hit on open in the explorer button on the chrome downloads folder so you can see uh, ssms.exe is here so i am going to cut it from here and i am going to paste it in my uh, local directory d and uh, here in application apps folder i am going to paste it so double click on the exe file so okay Uh, this is the wizard for uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, and you can see the path where it will install all the directories of this. So, if you don't have any reason to change it, so don't change it and click on the install button. So you can see uh, loading packages. Please wait. So it is loading all the necessary packages for Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Tool. And one important thing I want to share with you is here. Uh, that uh, with the ssms uh, you will get an additional tool uh, that is azure data studio so in the future lectures we are going to look into it uh, when we are going to do the classes on data engineering services related to microsoft azure so uh, let's wait and listen until it will download all the files so now all the files are downloaded and now you can see the installation is started and you can see it two uh, in progress bar are here the first one is for individual package and the second one is for overall progress so let's wait until it will finishes okay so almost installation is successful and you can see uh, the ssms post install tasks are running so please wait and listen until it will show you a close button okay so now you can see installation is successful just hit on the close button finally we have installed uh, ssms successfully in our system so search for ssms you can see microsoft sql server management studio 18 19 sorry so just click on the open okay now the starting wizard is open sql server management studio okay so this is the microsoft sql server management studio now you can see here uh, this connection wizard open so here we need to specify server name and all other things so it's by default selected and you can select the authentication method like windows server sql server azure active directory and all so i am going to click on the windows server and hit on the connect okay you can see the sql server is connected successfully and you can see the database security and all other tabs are here so right now we don't have any databases right so here you can see there are two default databases first one is system database and let's create a new database so this wizard will open and for creating new database first of all we need to specify the database name so i am going to give my first database okay 
so ignore any other thing and click on the ok so now you can see your database is listed there apart from all the databases so you can see while expanding the database tables and all other things are there I am going to hit on the new query so the new query window is open here now you can uh, type any queries to create any tables or whatever you want to do with this database so uh, this is all for the this video we will meet in the next video if you have any question uh, related to the databases or how we can install SSMS and all other tools so feel free to ask the questions in the comment section below we will meet in the next lecture till then happy coding